Hello and welcome to another Trades and Tutorials video. This is Jeff Fish, president of MarketGage.com and in this video I'm going to show you what I would describe as kind of a sneaky little pattern that revolves around earnings or even uh, just good strong stocks that can identify the stocks to focus on when the market pulls back so that when the market either stabilizes, bounces a little bit, these are the stocks that give you the biggest bang for the buck. All right, but before I get started, just to be sure that everybody can see this video as clearly as possible, I want you all to know that if you go to your uh, bottom right-hand corner in this video, there is a settings tab, and if it doesn't say HD, uh, click on that little gear and it will enable you to upgrade to HD. It'll be much clearer and I think you'll like it a lot better. Also, if you're just finding us on YouTube, please make sure to go to marketgage.com forward slash tutorials where you'll find more videos like this and a lot more free resources. All right, so with that, let's get started. So what you're looking at right now is a chart that has the Qs, the NASDAQ, uh, 100 on the bottom. I could put the spies, it wouldn't really matter for the sake of this video, but I have the cues, and I just want to be able to easily illustrate uh, what the market did on the same day as an individual stock. So I'm looking at specific stocks for one, uh, just to be fair. We have a NASDAQ All Stars um, product which identifies the strongest. Uh, trends in the NASDAQ 100 stocks. And so these are the best stocks by far to do this with. Um, but it really is taking advantage of an edge, which is that if you focus on the right measure of momentum and identify the strongest stocks in, in a group, you can uh, use that to identify the stocks that are going to rally the hardest when the market recovers from a um, pullback or when the market really takes off. Now, the reason I'm focusing on pullbacks is because it doesn't take much to see that the markets right now, this is a daily chart, are really quite choppy and they're looking, looking to be called lower today. So as the markets move, uh, move lower, uh, patterns like this are the ones that I look for. And you'll, you'll see why in just a second. So again, this one in particular, this video is about earnings and how earnings really highlights this pattern. So if we take a look at EA, EA reported earnings on this uh, big range, uh, you might call it a, a doji day up near the highs. And now it gapped up, it ran up really strong, but it closed weak on the day. So this could be interpreted um, as a, a negative in terms of its price action. But what you have to keep in mind is what happened to the overall market in that same day. So if you look down below, you can see the Qs on that day, and the SPIs weren't any better, uh, broke down. This is the 50-day moving average in the magenta, and were just really weak. And it was part of a two, uh, two days of um, some pretty, pretty significant weakness. So the pattern here is that EA actually did pretty well, closed up on the day, <clears throat> it just got pulled down by the overall market. Now that said, it doesn't mean that it's a no-brainer to just go right in and uh, buy it, assuming that it's going to bounce. But what you do want to do is pay attention to when it reverses, and if it holds that basic range that it creates. So it tried to go lower the next day, and then as soon as it turned around, you can see it ran right back up to the highs. So with a combination of opening range or other uh, intraday uh, tactics for getting in, this was the right one to focus on and you had a great move right up to the highs. If you're a uh, day trader, there were some good moves in there. If you're a swing trader, you're in at a great price. Uh, you could even have your stop below this low. And if the market holds up, continues to go higher, or even if EA just continues to buck the trend, you're in at a great price, and it it's rallied much stronger than the overall market on a percentage basis over these last couple days. All it required was to, to know, to look out for, okay, this had, this had earnings, it's a top performer in the NASDAQ 100, which is what we're focused on, and it got pulled down by the general market, and when it starts to turn that's your opportunity right there. So this also happened in a, in a less obvious way 
in another one of the stocks that we're focused on. So uh, as I'm looking at this, I, I realize I don't want to mislead you with the particular pattern. Here's NXPI. <clears throat> Here's the day that it re reported earnings. And it, too, ran up but closed lower. So it's not the run up and close lower necessarily that, that you're looking for. It's just a, a, a significant event. Uh, preferably with good volume, where the stock really dramatically outperforms the market. Because if you go down and look at what the overall market did this day, it's this big red candle. All right, And so you can see, in this case, unlike EA, uh, as soon as the market recovered, the next day, market recovers the next day here. It has a, an up day. NXPI exploded higher. All right, much stronger than the overall market. And so there again, if you just pretty much box in this range, you're using this as your entry um, range. And then again, if, if you'd gotten in, which is what I did, I wound up getting in on this day. I'm still in it. Um, and even if you didn't get in on the first day, you can find opportunities as it pulls back, if it does. And once again, the point here is that in this time, so the Qs, started on this day but at the close of that day the queues started here they're about here if you compare that to NXPI which started here and it's all the way up here almost a, a 10 percent move um, and this is not exclusive to these stocks all right but there's the few things that I'm pulling together here I've got stocks with this momentum edge I've got an individual day where the stock demonstrates that it's stronger than the overall market. And the best times to do this is when the market is weak. It makes it really easy to identify these. And then I need to have some logical way to get in. Um, I, if you know me at all, we've got the opening range. I use the opening range to time my way in. Uh, with really tight stops, and then uh, I let it run. Um, so, hope that helps. Keep an eye on the uh, stocks. It's got edge as a momentum. Look for these catalysts, and on down days in the market, don't be discouraged. Go looking for the stocks that are telling you that they want to rally as soon as the market stabilizes. Hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next video.